want to get right to our cover story, makeup mogul and reality star Kylie Jenner speaking to Vanity Fair Italia about experiencing postpartum depression after the births of both of her children. Jacqueline Lee has more on this for us. Good morning, Jacqueline. Good morning, Robin. Kylie Jenner is using her celebrity to shed light on an issue many moms may be dealing with silently, postpartum depression. She says it was incredibly difficult when she first gave birth in 2018. She calls the second time a little more manageable, and she wants other moms to know, you got this. You no, know, I cried for like three weeks. I believe you. Like every day to the point where I'd be laying in bed in my head, which just hurt so bad. Kardashian star Kylie Jenner encouraging women to feel all the emotions of motherhood to the fullest, even if they're painful. Telling Vanity Fair Italia, I know in those moments you think that it will never pass, that your body will never be the same as before, that you will never be the same. That's not true. The hormones, the emotions at that stage are much, much more powerful and bigger than you. Postpartum depression can be quite a debilitating mental issue that women have to go through after delivering. So hearing Kylie Jenner's account and her story and how it impacted her definitely takes the stigma out of talking about postpartum depression. The 25 year old mother of two telling all new moms who may be struggling. My advice is to live through that transition without fear of the aftermath. The risk is to miss all the most beautiful things of motherhood as well. Well, you like forget mm -hmm. how to interact with people. I've just been with, you know, a four year old and, <laughs> you know, been hard on me emotionally. The CDC says about one in eight women show symptoms of postpartum depression after giving birth, with it being more serious than baby blues. It can occur up to a year later and usually requires treatment. Symptoms include loss of interest in activities, withdrawing from family and friends, or thoughts of harming oneself or the baby. Being able to communicate about what is going on emotionally with a woman after delivering is so important because this disease manifests in different ways. It can be manifested in sleep disorders, mood swings, changes in appetite. Doctors say risk factors for postpartum include depression prior to pregnancy and stressful life events. Doctors say postpartum and baby blues show up in different ways. It can show up daily, show up sporadically. So take note of how long it lasts and how it impacts your daily life. Of course, if it becomes too severe where you can't take care of yourself or the baby, that's when you need to reach out for help, guys. Needs to be taken seriously. You're right about that. And Jacqueline, good to have you back in the studio with us. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.